Hi, this is Brett with Aim Small, Miss Small TV, and today I'm continuing the series of using the action screws to control barrel whip. I've seen performance over the last couple of years where my rounds seem to, I call them split pairs, two separate groups. Uh, or there seems to be just kind of, you know, what you maybe think would be a flyer you know, around that's kind of off on its own, or sometimes I actually have a nice group in the middle, then one's high and one's low. My thought is maybe that's happening because the, the harmonics in the barrel are causing that round to leave the uh, barrel in such a way that it affects the other side, obviously, where it's hitting the target. I know for the unlimited shooting i have a tuner on my barrel for exactly that and that's a nice thick barrel so i'm playing with this idea and why do i say i'm playing with this idea well because i'm just like anything it's a, it's a hypothesis or whatever science say they have this theory now they have to go prove it and that's kind of where i'm at right now and i'm sharing this if because if it works great others could could do it as well if it doesn't work, well, maybe others don't, don't need to try it. Anyway, so today is the CZ457 at 1. Uh, before I get started, during the, uh, you know, as I'm testing this, we had some visitors on the range. We had, I don't know, four or five female turkeys kind of just cruise past, you know, the range, you know, right, right in front of my target. And then a couple minutes, and the, the females easily flew over a fence. And then a couple males finally come straggling along. They weren't so talented; they couldn't get over the fence. Uh, but we're not—we're in a life wildlife preserve, so we're not really animals. Stop shooting! We're cold, so we chased them off. Uh, here's a couple of uh, pictures. Here's the females, and here's the males. But anyway, uh, oftentimes it makes me wonder. How hard could turkey shooting be, or hunting be? I get it, it's hard, but it's just it's just kind of funny. And sometimes we have deer on the back of the hill kind of just wander by. Um, they're obviously used to the rounds. Anyway, back to business. I have to apologize, the audio on the bench side, it, there is none. I had a mic that I thought would work and it just had the wrong input. Of course, I find out afterwards. And so I had no, no audio on the bench view. Yeah, you know, I think it takes away from the actual shooting itself. So I may speed up this shooting just, I mean, at, it's at the end of the video anyway. Maybe I'll just leave it go. Uh, and I think in this case, there may be a good reason to kind of go through and watch how, how the rifle is grouping the rounds. In fact, I will probably watch the video again uh, just to see if, if I really think I picked the right torque setting for my rifle. And with that said, let's get to that point. So what I do is I take one of these targets. Now this is a factory that I usually shoot, but on this side is the unlimited kind of using the aim small miss ball theory here and give myself a smaller target hoping you know mentally I'll, I'll sh shoot smaller groups but I do I shoot five round uh, five uh, five ten round groups the first group was 2.2 newton meters or 19.5 pounds second 2.8 um, newton meters 24.8 pounds here, I'll give you I'll give you a picture on the screen here so you can kind of follow along 36 uh, 3.6 newton meters 29.2 pounds 4 newton meters or 34.5 pounds finally 4.6 newton meters and 40.7 pounds I wanted to try basically 20 inch pounds to 40 inch pounds to see where I'd get I will say this rifle, I did put the group size on there just so you can kind of see. The, the 
group sizes were pretty pretty good. I mean, they're, we're talking 10 shot groups, which is typically something I don't do. Uh, by the time I got to the last two targets, which was 0.38 and 0.39, we had wind. And I actually had this one flyer here. It makes me wonder if I, sh I, I should have just taken that flyer out of the equation when I was trying to figure out what torque to go with. But I'll probably watch the video again to see how the groups are coming together uh, real time. And maybe I'll, make my I'll, I'll change the decision I've already made. But with the groups, I felt like uh, number, the group number two was the smallest at 0.42. Although it wasn't really necessarily the smallest in group size, it was the shortest in vertical. When you're, when you're tuning the barrel, you're really looking mostly for vertical change. So I went ahead and picked a uh, target two and I put my next round around that. So I went on the second row, I went 2.4 Newton meters. I don't know the inch pounds. I didn't, I didn't bother to write those down. 2.6, 2.8, 3.0, 3.2 newton meters. And out of those groups, I went ahead and went with number seven target. I don't know if you can see it, but it's the second, second group of that row. Uh, just so you know, the average of those five groups, 10 shot groups was uh, 50.6 and the wind was blowing. You'll see it in the flags in the video. Unfortunately, also the bench, the bench camera died on the battery, I think, after the, the third target, I want, to, I want to say. So I've got, what I, I, what I did is I went ahead and ran the full video. Uh, and went, once the bench dropped out, I just kept on going with just a target and I flipped it. So instead of the small picture being uh, the target, that's the bench view and the big, and the big, uh, the big picture is the actual target. So then we get to the three round groups, which I did right here. Three five round groups. We had 0 0.34, 0 0.39, and 0.24. Average of 0 0.31, which is great, right? A third of an inch. That's pretty darn good. And this is at 50 yards, but it's not as good as before I did the tuning. I'll put a, put a picture of that plate up here so you can kind of see the before tuning, I did center X and I also did the SK pistol batch special. Both of those groups, I believe, might be wrong, were, well, definitely one of them was uh, smaller than 3.1. So I'm undecided if I'm gonna keep the change. I originally had the rifle at uh, 40 inch pounds and I stuck, uh, the adjustment I have right now on it from the groups, I went with the 2.6 uh, Newton meters, which I'm guessing is somewhere around 20 inch pounds. Uh, excuse me, uh, probably close, closer to about 22 inch pounds. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll do some more testing and I'll do an ARA target. When I, when I do that, I'll go ahead and create another video so you guys can see it. Well, thank you very much for joining me in this series. Uh, if, if this is the first video you saw, I'll put a, at the end of the video, I'll put a, in the playlist for this um, series, and then I'll find something, a video that we can put on top that you might be interested in. Uh, with that said, uh, God bless, Godspeed. If you want to go uh, watch the actual shooting, and please uh, like, subscribe, ring that bell.